We are on the road to the Bohemian Grove, which is north of San Francisco in a town called Monte Rio, California. Established in the late 1800s as a men's only club with about 2,500 attendees, the Bohemian Grove has many theories as to what occurs every June for about two weeks. No trespassing violators will be prosecuted. Yeah. Is that the Bohemian Grove? Yeah. Really? So this is the road to the infamous Bohemian Grove. I wanted to get closer. Of course, I wanted to get the Bohemian Grove sign. Word has it that this is where every June these rich politicians and so-called people that are pretty close to the top of the pyramid, elitist, all meet up. I wonder if that's where they have the helicopters land. I don't know. It could be. And the cops pretty much patrol the whole area, escort them in, and make sure that there's no trespassers and stuff like that around this time. And what they do is supposedly they do some freaky rituals and some freaky stuff but here is where they decide like they make some major decisions for our country like they all gather up and start talking about decisions that we the people don't even know about and they have cameras is this cameras there if you go, if you go further. oh way over there you mean mm -hmm. yeah yeah there's yeah okay camera signs wow At least we got some beautiful scenery in. But yeah, guys, check out, look it up, Google it, Bohemian Grove. Tell me what you guys think about that. Um, I think it's a little freaky weird, but. All right, back on the road we go, hon. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now that we're in this whole Bohemian Grove topic, and being that uh, politicians, rich elitists, go into this Bohemian Grove club and do whatever the heck they want to do, freaky rituals, whatever, I like to get into talking about politicians. I'm going to try to get to the point here. We live in a society where we put our trust in politicians. And I'm going to give you an example. So you have people on the left, left-wingers, who are supporting a left-wing politician um, and this this politician can he they don't even care who what their moral standard is what their belief is what they do it could be bad things that they do they're going to support them because they label some themselves as left-winger or maybe because the media hyped them up <clears throat> then you have some people some people but not all people but you have some people that will just literally just bow down and worship a specific politician because he is in their on their side same with right-wing people there's some there's a, some people that are the same way too in a way both parties are very similar and that some people will just praise and worship the people that are in their party regardless <laughs> um, they don't you know I don't really question see, I'm the type where I question all politicians I'm, I'm as a libertarian you can come a libertarian um, but I don't trust any politician and as a society we should be that way because these politicians are human beings they're not perfect and I believe that our government isn't our friend <laughs> um, because of what history teaches us and we need to be very careful when we just just turn our back and just let our government, our politicians do whatever they want to do, regardless of what party they're in. Here's an example. So I drove truck with a, a, a way before RV living, I, I used to be a truck driver. I, I worked with one guy who was a hardcore Republican. But when I mean hardcore, I mean like more of like a neocon. You know, George Bush, kind of a Republican, where he was all about just wars and violence. And he, he just was like, anyone that's, just have war with anyone that looks Middle Eastern. 
just boom, bomb them all and just kill everyone and, you know, and just drink my Bud Light and these very same corporations that are giving me cancer and they want me killed too. They're globalists. Oh, chew my tobacco that's killing me because it's country. Um, <laughs> and so I asked him about the Bohemian Grove. I was like, hey, you know Bush? Because he loved the Bushes. You know Bush is part of the Bohemian Grove and he's also part of Skull and Bones, which is a secret group. Look at the logo. It's kind of demonic. So... George's bushes, the bushes are far from Christians. I, some people think that bushes are Christians. His first instinct was to defend it. He's like, no, it's just a men's club. You know, he's making light of the matter. And talking to this fellow trucker, it turned out that I was more like more freedom loving, more into liberty than he was. Because for anyone that's in, more into even just more war, that's more government. But same with people on the left where they literally praise and worship Obama. No matter what he does, if he wants to kill more babies, Oh, just praise and worship him. Oh, you want bigger government? You want more taxes? Oh, just praise and worship it. You want Obamacare? Praise and worship Obama no matter what he does. We just need to know that our government is not there for our best interest. They should be, but we should, as a society, question our government all the time. Just remember, it's about we the people. This is what the Constitution says. It's not about me the government or we the government or us the politicians. And if we want change, change is beyond just voting a piece of paper every four years or whatever. It's beyond that. And that's important. But it's more than that. It's taking action. It's not just, oh, I voted on a piece of paper. Now I can just sit back and just watch TV and let these politicians at it. No, because... We are the change. We can't just rely on one guy all the time, you know, <laughs> just to just be the change. Like, we just like, oh, oh, yeah, you know, like, we just always look to this one guy for four years. It's just the one guy that we just praise and worship. And I think that's dangerous. You know that we have to be the change. We need to look and work within ourselves, educate ourselves, lay off the fake news, lay off the TV, start reading books, going out there and making a difference in the community and the world. Uh, you know, so, um, so I just want to just conclude that and just say that it's the Bohemian Grove led me to this topic, and uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, enjoy the following uh, footage here. As we drive up the peaceful and beautiful Northern California coast on Highway One, we can't believe our own eyes. California was going to be this beautiful. It's just breathtaking. It is absolutely breathtaking. We made it to Glass Beach, which is full of sea glass created from years of dumping garbage into an area coastline near the northern part of the town. It's crazy to think about all the garbage that was dumped in the ocean here, but it's pretty cool to see old glass turn into rock-like objects. <laughs> 